Well, welcome back to GIS Analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this application, it's a classic network analysis application where we're planning a road trip to visit graduate schools and we want to fly into Salt Lake City, Utah and start there with a car rental. And what we need to do is determine the shortest route to visit some Western graduate schools starting and ending at Salt Lake City. And these are the locations of the schools we're going to visit. So we'll visit the University of Colorado at Boulder, Montana State University at Bozeman, Colorado State University at Fort Collins, the University of Wyoming at Laramie, Utah State University at Logan, University of Montana in Missoula, University of Idaho in Moscow, and the University of Utah at Salt Lake City. So we're going to fly into Salt Lake City, and we're going to fly out of Salt Lake City. So the first thing we'll do is select those cities that we need to visit. And the easiest way to do that is just look them up. So, for example, Boulder, University of Colorado at Boulder, there's two boulders. There's a boulder at Colorado and a boulder at Montana. So we'll select University of Colorado at Boulder. So we'll select all the stops within our table. So by holding the control key down, we can select our eight cities and then show us the selected cities in, in alphabetical order. So we've got Boulder, Colorado, Bozeman, Montana, Fort Collins, Colorado, Laramie, Wyoming, Logan, Utah, Missoula, Montana, Moscow, Idaho, and we're going to fly into and fly out of Salt Lake City. So then we could use the Copy Features tool to create a new point feature class of these eight stops. So we then have a feature class, I named it Grad Schools, and it's in the same feature data set as our roads. So then we'll build our network data set based on our roads. But before we do that, let's add a field for miles. So then we'll have how many miles our road trip will be when we do our network analysis to get the optimal route. So I added a double precision field for miles, and then we'll calculate geometry for every road line, calculate its length in U.S. miles. So now when we build our new network data set using roads, we will also accumulate miles traveled as we solve the problem for the optimal road trip. So the network problem is to solve a new route, and then we need to load our stop. So we have our stops loaded, and our number one stop is Salt Lake City. So since our number one stop was Salt Lake City, we'll reorder our stops to find the optimal route, preserving our first stop and our last stop. What we need to do is make our last stop also Salt Lake City. So to do that, we can copy and then paste, and then drag that down to our last stop. And then for accumulation, let's accumulate miles as we solve this network analysis problem. So then we could solve the network analysis problem. So we get our optimal route. So given this system of roads, the optimal path would be to fly into Salt Lake City, drive north to Logan, Utah, visit Utah State University, then drive north to the University of Idaho in Moscow, then drive across the mountains east to the University of Montana at Missoula, drive east to Montana State at Bozeman, drive east to the University of Wyoming at Laramie, drive south to the University of or Colorado State University at Fort Collins, then drive south to the University of Colorado at Boulder, and then finish up at the University of Utah at Salt Lake City and then fly home. And then here is we're flying in Salt Lake City and out of Salt Lake City to Logan, Utah, Moscow, Idaho, Missoula, Montana, Bozeman, Montana, Laramie, Wyoming, Fort Collins, Colorado, Boulder, Colorado, and then back to Salt Lake City.